Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and people of the internet? It's Bossy here, bringing you guys another YouTube video back onto my channel. Now, today I'm going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial on how to make YouTube thumbnails, and this is going to be primarily towards the Call of Duty community because that's basically what uh, I usually do for thumbnails. Now, the reason why, excuse me. I'm making this tutorial is because a friend of mine as well as a subscriber asked me to make it so I decided to please so here I am making a tutorial on how do I usually make my thumbnails now for this thumbnail I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be primarily focusing on advanced warfare as well as using a CC pack from I forgot who was his name Cameron something my own th uh, thumbnail template and also some fonts that you can get on thefont.com which I will be naming them as I go as well as linking them down below also my template will be down below for download as well so let's get on with the tutorial now I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop CS6 that's what I primarily like to use and as you can see right here this is my thumbnail for my latest Call of Duty video which was the DNA bomb at the last second now this right here font is the Aldo the Apache font which you guys can simply just download which I will link down below again. This one is a font that's already on your computer which is Hobo STD, STD or SDT. I don't even know just type in Hobo on Photoshop and that'll pop up. And then this is the hacked font which you guys can just simply download on the font as well. So let's start off from scratch. New and improved so right here we have our blank and I forgot to mention that I like to use 1920 by 1080 with the resolution of 720 you can simply use 1280 by 720 it's just all about pre personal preference and that is mine now here we have a blank space baby but you're not gonna write any names on here you're gonna write the title of your video but before we do get on to the video any good Call of Duty video has to have a Call of Duty background so let's go on Google and find a map for this background. Uh, what's a good map that like people like to use? Let's go find Riot Advanced Warfare. Um, usually the maps sadly for Advanced Warfare are not on our side. They are very, very small. And uh, we won't really enjoy it. So right here we have the Advanced Warfare, but it's 636 by 358. That's not going to be a pleaser. But we're going to save it anyways. So let's just click that Save button. Uh, click the little X. And uh, unless, though, this one's a little bit bigger. Perfect, actually. Let's save this one instead. So now that we have a bigger image, it'll look less, you know, terrible. So let's drag this right here and expand this so that we will have a full background and let me just find this arrow because my photoshop keeps blacking out for some reason i don't know why it does that for me uh we'll black uh, we'll not black this out we'll cover this soon so don't worry about that and uh, let's get on with the text and i will move on to something else afterwards that i actually really is a key component for my thumbnails so right here we're gonna start off right around here so we can cover that we're gonna put Aldo the Apache because that is the most common uh, font for these, uh, you know, temp uh, thumbnails for the gameplay um, stuff. All right, so we're gonna put insane because that is attracting. So we're gonna put insane. Whoop! Did I just click? Okay, insane. Oh, I just clicked caps lock. Hold up. Insane. Okay. Let me just put this, yeah, insane. Let me just, oh, I misspelled insane. What is going on with me? All right, insane. That's that's good right there, right? Now we're going to duplicate it so it's the same size, and we're going to put double. Right around here. <clears throat> and I like to actually put DNA bomb kind of crookedly. Um, I will explain soon. And you know, let me just put DNA. Make it a little bit smaller, probably around like 300 or so. Was is 300 a little bit smaller? Yeah, it is perfect. A little bit crooked like this. And we're gonna copy this one. 
duplicate that ah, duplicate layer put bomb and now tilt this one a little bit I don't know, it just seems nicer to me when it's tilted. Now you're pro- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Messed up like that. Now you're probably thinking that it's kind of ugly right now because it's just all black. And this is where the gradients that I will be talking about right now is comes into play. Now these gradients are simply, you just copy it. You can make any gradients that you like. Um, I prefer the ones that I already have on the thumbnail. And I'm just going to be pasting it onto this. Now it does look a little bit more appealing, but it's not just yet finished. But let me just put the last word for this, and uh, I guess it's gonna be a double DNA bomb using a bow 27. So let's just put bow 27. Drag this down here. That's a uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, where's the insane word? Uh, right there. Double flip that a little bit more. About 27 is going to be lifted. Now we have that. I actually don't like the fact that the DNA bomb is the same color. So I like to, you know, try to change up the words. Uh, it's my personal, personal preference. So I'm going to change this to silverish. I guess you could say silverish. Uh, both DNA bomb. And uh, move this up a little bit so that it's not just touching that. DNA bomb right around here. I just wish that I could tell you. I love you. Control T so I can tilt it again. Apply transformation. And uh, now we have to add a kind of texture thing to make it look nicer, which I'm just going to duplicate it for this tutorial. And it's going to be covering it all. Let me just put it right there. And now it's going to give it like a kind of cool warlike scratched up. Uh, theme which is what I really really enjoy about it and now we have our basis for it so now we're gonna need to put the gun into the thumbnail now this is actually one of the easiest parts let me just move bomb uh, down again I don't know what is with me in this uh, let me see how it looks if DNA was above it uh, DNA has to move a little bit down I guess you could say and actually no I prefer if bomb was above it all right so <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit, you know, trying to be neat about it. Alright, so now we're going to need our gun to be displayed. So, luckily for me, I already have, um, you know, pictures of the guns. And I'm just going to put the BAL-27. You guys can simply just find this on Google by, you know, Googling BAL-27 and PNG. And it will pop up as this, so it's see-through. You will notice see-through because it has the checkered board on the back. So let's just make this a little bit bigger so, you know, people understand that it is a BAL-27 uh, DNA bomb. So we're going to try to match it to the theme of this. And um, I'm going to add the uh, the layer style that I already have for the BAL-27 in my other picture. And it's going to have the outer glow. Now... The outer glow is for, you know, this, and I will show you what it does when you take it off. Not all people like to have the outer glow. I personally like to enjoy to have the outer glow. Some pe Sometimes people have, um, you know, do what I'm about to do where they simply just create this as a smart object, then add a white outer glow. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but, you know, a lot of people like to use it. A lot of big teams like to use it. But, it, you know, it's actually not even an outer glow, it's a stroke. Let me just cancel this. It's actually a stroke of um, white and it's one. And I've seen a lot of teams use this for some apparent reason. Uh, let me just see if I can make it smaller. Nah, no, it has to be one, so. So yeah, something like that. I personally like my own way, so I'm just going to create uh, Control Z, I mean. Is it Control Z? Yeah, it's Control Z. And now it has its own, you know, unique glow to it so now that it's a double dna bomb we have to add you know of course the dna bombs now i'm just going to duplicate it for the sake of this tutorial because i really don't want to have to go google one and then you know have to crop it out and stuff like that so i'm just going to you know simply just 
make this a little bit bigger to emphasize that it is a double DNA bomb because that's what people want to watch or you know usually triples but for the sake of this you know it's a double DNA bomb so I'm just gonna duplicate it so that it is you know a double DNA bomb uh, I'm gonna put this behind it because I kind of think it looks neater like that and that's pretty much it for that now I like to throw in a little more pizzazz I guess you could say uh, let me just make this a smaller actually not even smaller I'm just gonna drag this to the top of it a little bit more pizzazz where I uh, like to open up my CC pack that I did download from somebody which again I will leave link down below and I like to choose a blue CC for the background of the map now I'm gonna use this one just so I can demonstrate what the CC does and the CC I have to drag this all the way down here and it changes the background to blue so honestly enjoy it like this it looks really nice it's a simple tutorial on how to make a thumbnail for you guys you guys can also add the call of duty logo right here because that's usually what teams like carnage and other big teams use so if you guys did enjoy this uh, tutorial please leave a like also don't forget to comment down below if you guys do need any help i will be much uh, I will be uh, pretty happy to help out. You know, it's really not a big deal. Also, follow me on Twitter if you're not following me already. At it's bossy on Twitter. And also, you know, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed now. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial, and I will be seeing you guys next time. Peace.